Hi guys, today I bring you the common conversions that you will see in your HESI exam. Okay, before starting to the conversion systems, I thought this would be really helpful. So basically, this is our, like the keywords. If you find the keyword, for example, DECA, that means it's 10 times bigger than if you, like, if you start from here, this would get higher and higher, bigger and bigger, this would get lower. So if you have the keyword deca, it means 10 times bigger. Hecto, 100. Kilo, the most known, is 1000. Mega is 1 million. Now if you have this keyword, such as deci, that means 0 0.1 lower than if you start from here, any unit that you start. Can be, for example, meters, can be liters. Then centi is 0 0.01 smaller milli 0 0.001 smaller and micro is 0 0.00001 times smaller so this is very helpful to know because it gets easier but yeah so the first system we're looking at is the lent system and there are two different types the metric system and the english system the one we use so the first one is one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Remember I told you the keyword kilo means 1,000 times bigger. So there it is. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. And 2.54 centimeters is equal to one inch. In the English one, we have one mile is equal to 1,760 yards. One mile is equal to 5,280 feet, and one yard is equal to 3 feet. One foot is equal to 12 inches, and one mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers. And lastly, one feet is equal to 30.48 centimeters. So all of them are important, and I've seen in many HESI questions, these are the common conversions in the length. Okay, now we move on to the weight system. Again, we have metric and English. So the metric, we have one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Again, the, kil the kilo is a keyword. One gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams. The English one, we have one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. One pound is equal to 16 ounces. 2.2 pounds is equal to one kilogram. One pound is equal to 16 ounces and one gallon is equal to 128 ounces. Again, all of them are important and I've seen it many times. Now we move on to volume and capacity. From the metric system, we have that one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. One milliliter is equal to one centimeter to the cube. And in the English, we have one ounce is equal to 30 milli milliliters. One ounce is equal to 28 grams. One gallon is equal to 3,840 milliliters. One quart is equal to 960 milliliters. And one cup is equal to 16 tablespoons. Now for the units of capacity, I actually have a very nice diagram that makes you memorize it really fast, all these conversions. So how can you memorize it? You draw this diagram. You draw a G, then four Qs, then in each Q you draw two Bs, and in each B you draw two Cs. So what it tells you is that you start from here. Um, one pint, so pint is your P. So that's your P. And how many C does a P have? Two. So one pint is equal to two cups. Then you have the chord, the Q. Now one chord, how many C? does it have? It has two here and two here, so in total four. So one chord is equal to four cups. Now one chord, again the Q, is equal to two pins because it has two Ps. And lastly, one gallon, the huge G, has four chords, four Qs. So that's it. Now if you want to know, like in a general equation not equation like in a general conversion what you would write is that one gallon is equal to four quarts four q's and then eight p eight pins because there are eight p's in total and there's 16 c's in total so you write one gallon is equal to four quarts eight pins 16 cups it's a very easy diagram to memorize all those units of capacity 
You don't need to memorize it. You just draw this diagram and you understand it. Lastly, but not least, is the temperature system. And this one is very easy. There are only two equations you need to memorize when you want to convert from Fahrenheit or to centigrade, so centigrade to Fahrenheit. So what you do is if it says, the equation says Fahrenheit is equal to centigrade. So you put the temperature here, the temper any temperature that they tell you in the problem, you multiply it by 1.8 and then you add 32. Now, what if they give you centi, oh, sorry, what if they give you Fahrenheit and you want to find out it in centigrade? So what you do, you memorize only this equation and then you can rearrange it. So you leave the C alone and then this 32 will go to the Fahrenheit to um, get subtracted. So F minus 32 and this because it's multiplying, it will go to divide. So you divide it by 1.8. That's how you find out your centigrades. Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and comment for any questions or other topic you want help with.